modified it, but here in the first few possessions, they seem very slow and uncertain as to what they want to get into. The Bulls come back with Carmichael. Five-point Chicago lead. Down low to Benjamin. But on Benjamin, that's his first two of the night. Over to Michael, all alone. The uncontested jumper won't go for him, though. The rebound tipped to Cartwright, and Cartwright puts it home, his fourth point. Down low to Grant. Grant has his shot blocked by Benoit Benjamin. Benjamin sixth in the league in blocked shots this year. Nixon down to Quinton Daly. His jump just over eight minutes remaining in this opening quarter. Comes down low to Cartwright over Benjamin. It goes for five starters have scored now for the Clippers and Danny Manning getting ready to make his first appearance of the night. The fall away jumper by Cartwright gives him eight points. A five point Chicago lead. Down low it comes to Benoit Benjamin. Gives more point. That's now a three point lead. It goes inside the court after each basket. A seven-point Chicago lead, 22-15, 3.38 remaining in the quarter. Benoit Benjamin got the basket and drew the foul. He's got six. Plays like he has tonight with the jam above the back. Four rookies and Benoit Benjamin for the Clippers. See, Pippen's a slasher, and that time he makes a good, strong move, but he can't get the shot to go down. Charles Smith pulled it away. Benjamin left all alone. Ben Benoit Benjamin with his ninth point. And a timeout being called by Chicago. This is a 22nd timeout. And it'll give us a chance to remind you that this long, too strong effort by Smith to get the hoop. And it's an 11-point lead now for the Clippers. Cut to nine. He has not had a lot of game activity inside to Cartwright. That's been very effective for the Bulls tonight. Cartwright now with 14 points, and he's scored most of them. 50 with 10-10 to go in the third. Cartwright working against Benjamin. That's what worked so well. For the Bulls in the first half, like he might surpass that tonight. Daly, partially blocked by Jordan. Benjamin comes up with a loose ball and puts it home. Benoit Benjamin with 11. The first You see Cartwright directing traffic, wanting the ball across it. Trouble coming up with the pass cleanly, but controlled it quick. Orzine taking it over Benjamin. Grant high in the air for the rebound for the Clippers. Trying to give L.A. the lead. Fires it to Benoit Benjamin. His jumper off the glass falls for him. Underneath to Manning. His shot no good. The tip by Benjamin is. 15 for Benoit Benjamin. Good pass to Benjamin. He missed the shot, got the rebound, and puts it home and drew the foul. He's having a big night. 17 points. He has 13 rebounds now. And he'll go to the free throw line. Face kid right there, and we have to remember, he was going to be warming to that idea the longer he plays with Michael Jordan. He has now hit 13 three-point baskets this year. But like Benjamin taking the short-range jumper. He has the grant. Down low to Benoit. Back out to Gary Grant. Hits the long-range jumper and hits it. Grant has it in Benjamin, but they don't get the screen. Benjamin down on the box. And Cartwright fouled him. That's four now on Cartwright. One for one from the line tonight. Tonight gets five blocks tonight now for Benjamin. In the first eight minutes of play, as Cartwright begs for the ball against a smaller Quentin Daly and draws a foul. Right with 18 points tonight. He's 0 for 2 from the line. Any stretch of the imagination. Oh, oh, seven. Even though they haven't exhibited any control, the Clippers are also capable of dying in the water. So they've got to come back with some good defensive pressure and force that ball to come up over the top. It's a six-point Clipper lead. You see the time left, 425. Benoit Benjamin has been the man. Benjamin with 11 points in the quarter, 22 on the night. He'll have a chance to make it 23 and to give that Clipper club a nine-point lead. No emotion. You be the judge. Down on the box. Benjamin working hard. A tough fadeaway jump shot. And he gets it to go in. And, and converts the three-point numbers again. That's the second highest in the league. Only Houston commits more. And just 
barely. Well, the turnovers haven't hurt him. Jordan comes in, leaves it for Benjamin. six blocks for Benoit Benjamin. To go along with and 13 rebounds. Jordan has the total, but that was a good shot for Jordan. Had everybody backpedaling. Nixon down to Benjamin. And Benoit does it again. Made it and hasn't looked from three-point range since then. Only five seconds left on the shot clock. Cartwright had the ball stripped away. But Daryl Garretson blew the whistle. And Norm Nixon's going to be called for his second personal. Well, left right at the line. He has 20 points tonight. He's two out of four from the free throw line. It's probably the ugliest style in the NBA, but it's also very effective. And he gets some easy guy that plays one-on-one -on -one with Jordan and tries to get him ready. So he may have had something to do with the offensive effort. Didn't do anything to do with those steals, but he gets a chance to make at least a token appearance here tonight. In that game, by the way, Jordan had all 52 of those points. <laughs> and there it is. The L.A. Clippers still perfect at home, defeating the Chicago Bulls by a final score of 105-97. to So Dean Shoes, young troops, on their way to an improved situation here with the Clippers. They go to five and six. The Bulls fall to six and five, and we'll be back.